welcome back to my channel on today's video i will be doing a quick pineapple style we're gonna see how it goes i haven't unboxed this product yet because i wanted to do it on camera and then also before i get into that or maybe while i'm doing it um actually i think i'm gonna do a voiceover so i'll just go ahead and get this part out the way i'm gonna give an update on the situation with my eye you have to be able to see it. i was gonna say i don't know if you can see it but i feel like it's giving me a lazy eye at this point like I almost did not film today because of this because I'm filming a lazy girl video today and I know those are really popular on my channel and I didn't want to be on camera with another popular video and my eyes are like this um if you watch the engagement photo shoot vlog you notice that I said that I thought I had a sty and I was treating it as a sty come to find out it's something called a Kalazion 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 chalazion whatever i'll put the name of it right here it's a blocked oil gland and i'm starting to believe that it's from my eyelash extensions um it's oil buildup from my extensions or anything that's in this area for me the only thing that's been in that area lately is the eyelash extensions are the eyelash extensions so i'm just self-diagnosed and that's where we are with this i've been doing research non-stop for the past three days on how to get rid of it i've used rice and a sock as a hot compress i feel like i woke up this morning and it was bigger i did that last night i used acb it was burning like hell i put baby shampoo to rinse that out burn like more hell um so yeah i'll let y'all know how it goes as far as me treating it and getting it down the acb brought it down from where the rice had it but because i constantly was putting pressure on it like this last night I was looking crazy in the face um but I'm pushing through anyway the work still has to get done so I'm still gonna film I know that personally when I see something wrong with somebody on their channel and they're filming I'm going through comments and videos trying to see if they talk about it so I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like it's not a thing so that's what's going on with it that's the update and I'll let y'all know when it's resolved I have too many events coming up too many pictures that are gonna be around for a lifetime coming up that I need to get healed for like I can't be walking around with the lazy eye looking crazy and pictures that will be around for years to come so again i'm gonna continue with the acv treatments and let y'all know how that goes but this has to go and unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to chill out on the eyelash extensions until i get the situation resolved if you've had any similar experiences if you're an optometrist or optometrist assistant anything of the like and you know anything about this condition leave it below of course experience is the best teacher so I most prefer anyone that has been through on their own to give me feedback. Now that that's out the way, we're going to go ahead and unbox this product. It is from Sam's Beauty. Shout out to Sam's Beauty for collaborating with me on this video. And it's a product that is supposed to help you do a quick pineapple. So like a half wig, but for your pineapple. And we all know that if your hair is not twist out, in a twist out, braid out, whatever, the night before, then you end up with something sort of like what I have, no definition, and it's just sitting at the top of your head. So, let's see if this product helps that. My worry is that it'll look too synthetic or too fake against my natural hair slicked up on the sides. So, let's see how it does. It's an outre product. It comes in this black, black brown box. My eye ain't that much left. Um, it's a pineapple ponytail, and I got it in the curl pattern cutie. And I got it in the color too because my hair isn't exactly jet black, but it's not exactly the brownest either. And they have it in two other curl patterns. I want to say it's two. Don't quote me. I'll list the link below, of course. Um, huh, this looks interesting. Yeah. So it says that you clip it behind your hairline and it's supposed to fall in front of your face like on the model. Brush your hair back into a high bun, attach the piece to your own bun and pull the drawstring so that it's securely fastened. Extend the front piece forward and clip it just behind your hairline so that the curls fall loosely down your forehead. Fluff the curls and go. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, the curls aren't too, they're not shiny at all actually. So that's a great starter. And it has a drawstring. I was hesitant to do a talk through because I know y'all can hear the lens clicking to adjust. But it is what it is. Um, so that it has this flap in the front to like extend onto the front of your hair. And this part goes on the back. This is pretty cool actually. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming convinced. 
I'm just gonna slick my hair into a high bun as stated in the instructions. And y'all already know I'm using my dynamic duo to do that. I'm just gonna start with the Eco Styler. Actually, because I'm doing the second hairstyle today, I'm gonna try to do this mostly with some leave-in, the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Leave-In Moisturizer. And then, of course, the spray bottle. I might regret this part later because it doesn't match, but let's just see. Camera died, but just put your hair in a regular ponytail. Now I'm just wrap this piece around. I'm trying to wrap it pretty tight. If you want to take an extra step to protect your hair even more, you can apply a wig cap just to this part. And that will also help keep it in place some. But on the downside, you have to worry about it showing through. So I would say buy a black one. I just had this one at home. Now I'm just going to apply this piece. And it has a comb behind it as well. In the viewfinder, it looks really cute. In the mirror, it looks really synthetic still, so I'm just gonna keep fluffing it up. This front comb isn't staying. I'm thinking maybe my bun isn't up far enough. But the front comb not staying isn't even an issue for me because I don't want it right on the front of my hairline. So that could be damaging. Now I'm just going to secure the sides with some more bobby pins. I'm just going to go inside and pin it discreetly so it looks like it's coming out of my head. But you can't see any of the pins. And then to replace that front comb that's not working with me, I'm just going to go in and put bobby pin there. And this is just with using the piece, but you could do the piece and twist it up on the side, do a braid in the back. Like, you could style this as many ways as you want. You could do your pineapple to the side, to the front, however. This is super convenient if you want to throw this on and leave out the house. It's not my favorite thing in the world just because I don't even wear pineapples often with my natural hair. But I like the thought of it being able to be thrown on and go. And I think my bun is a little too big because there's still some height there. But overall, I say give it a go. The fine pineapple without all the work. I feel like I'm getting washed out against this backdrop. But since we're nearing the end, it doesn't even matter at this point. Um, you can continue to cut pieces to even out this area. I don't really care to put too much work into it. The hoops lend itself to it, but overall, I'm indifferent towards this look. Maybe if, hold on. Yep, nope, still indifferent. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent to this look. It's serving a little bit of old lady vibes or like the 27 piece grandma wig that you get. Um. But for the girls who have a TWA or who are transitioning, growing their hair out, and they don't have the overflow for their own pineapple, this is a good option to just throw on and get that look. Or if you do a mohawk type style and like move it up some. But updos have never really been my thing unless it's a long ponytail, which doesn't make it an updo anymore. Or unless it's just a bun, a straight up bun. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do y'all think? That's just how I feel about it. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I've always admired girls who are natural and do puffs all the time and it just looks bomb, but I don't really like the look on myself. I think that's what the issue is. Because the texture of the hair isn't really a problem. I could just see the curls clumping up a lot. 
whatever. Let me know what y'all think of this style. If you're interested in the Timeless Ponytail by Outre and Cutie or any of the other textures, please check out Sans Beauty in the links below. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.